name is Austin Lins, and tonight I'll be talking on behalf of myself and Lauren. And our case study is Moore versus the University of Notre Dame, volume 22, page 896. Before we tell you guys the facts of the case, we wanted to tell you guys about this book written called Personal Foul, Coach Joe Moore versus the University of Notre Dame. It was written by Richard Lieberman in 2001, and he was the attorney for the plaintiff, Joe Moore. While their main argument was for age discrimination and him being fired because he was 64 years old, they also found arguments that unethical and inappropriate conduct and behavior was taking place in the Notre Dame football program that was largely looked up to as a top program. It discusses their side of the case. The name of the report is the second series of the federal supplement and the court is the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Indiana. A little background information on the case. On the case, Moore was the offensive line football coach at the University of Notre Dame for eight years. Before being fired by head coach Bob Davies for what Davies said himself was old age, he would not be able to last a five-year contract period well. So the reason that the Nord that Notre Dame stated for his firing was that he did not match up to the university standard, as he had been accused of abuse of his players. Joseph E. R. Moore filed a claim under the Age Discrimination and Employment Act, known as the ADEA. The cause of action for this case was whether Moore will receive front pay from the university under the Age Discrimination and Employment Act. He was almost near retiring age that was not likely to get another coaching job with that much conversation. The court's disposi disposition as follows. His reinstatement for his offensive line coaching job with the university was denied. He was awarded front pay plus costs and fees, which resulted in $75,577.68. He was awarded $42,935.28 in back pay and also $42,935.28 in front pay. Last but not least, he was awarded $394,865.74 for attorney fees. The violation of the Age Discrimination and Employment Act result in the platinum can be awarded liquid, liquidated damages equal to back pay, reinstatement, attorney fees, and front pay. Reinstatement is appropriate when an employee was wrongfully terminated when his or her rights were violated on their job. Reinstatement was not appropriate in this case, however, because the coach's former position was currently occupied by someone else. Definition of front pay is the difference between the earnings an employee would have received in his or her old employment and the earnings that he or she can be expected to receive in their future or present future and present employment. The court determines the amount of front pay based on whether the platinum has a chance of obtaining, first has a chance of obtaining comparable employment, second, time period for award is short, and third, is physically capable of working, slash liquid, liquidated damages have been awarded. Notre Dame argued against awarding Morris front pay. The arguments that Notre Dame used in an attempt to influence the court against the awarding uh, Joseph's front pay was, first, the evidence acquired by Notre Dame after Moore's discharge would have led to his discharge based on legitimate, non-discriminatory reasons. Second, Moore's award of, of his liquidated damages has already made him whole. And third, Moore has failed to make reasonable efforts to mitigate his damages. In the, in the end result, Notre Dame was... Notre Dame could not get the court to uphold their arguments. However, they could have made a statement about how front pay is less appropriate when liquidated damages are awarded, considering Moore was awarded both. The failure to mitigate concept is the victim not taking legal action or the reasonable steps so they can keep their losses from getting worse. Court granted more with two years of front pay. Me and Lauren both agree that the 
me and Lauren both agree with the court's damages ruling for Joseph Moore because he received both front pay and back pay, local damages, attorney fees, and also expenses. And the end result, the platinum Moore, Joseph Moore, was satisfied with his receivings.